you have fear, it's a normal thing that you'll be scared. But to be obsessed with your fears, to go in circles around your fears, to allow them to penetrate into your life in different areas and to take over your life and to control your life because that you've been hurt from one thing, now to take that pain and fear and to, and to, and to cover all your life with that darkness, that is already your mistake. It means that this is something that is in your hand. Okay, you've been hurt, someone hurt you, something happened to you. Someone was abusive, not sensitive. Someone was harsh. Someone was rude. Someone was cruel to you. Someone really hurt you. Okay, this is something that we can understand. This is something that we need to deal with. There are ways to deal with it. Let's recognize it. Now, the fact that you found yourself isolated and locked and blocked inside your own house and not able to go to the grocery store and not able to communicate with simple people in the streets and being able to, 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 to open and develop a, a normal conversation, it becomes to be a dream for you and a, and a salvation for you. This is an outcome that is very much not welcomed and, and not accepted. And with that, we need to fight. And the way to fight with that is to confront our own fears. It's to remember that when we are standing in the present time with, with the need to make a decision, now you want to go out from the house, now you want to talk to someone, now someone is calling you, now you need to, to cook or to clean, to, to work or to, or, or to relax now. It, like you, you have your hobbies and your obligations. Okay, so you are standing in front of that intersection of your free choice. You have two ways to choose, only two ways. And I'm not talking about choose the good or choose the bad. I'm talking about ways to, to, to run your life, to manage your life, to be your true self. Before you're thinking if I'm good or if I'm bad, reject that criticism to the sides. Try to be your true self for a second. There are two ways for the person to choose to take decisions in life. One is based on the past and one is based on reality. You can work as a result of your fears and that way of thinking is called patterns, that you based your actions on emotional patterns, on fears, that are taking place in your life and are terrifying you and not allowing you to move further ahead toward your success and to accomplish and to succeed on your own because you have been hurt in the past when in reality you're not even checking if that person that is standing in front of you or that situation is really bad and dangerous for you. You're not checking in the present time What's going on? You're just scared of women, scared of authority, scared of police officers, scared of um, uh, revealing your emotions and your feelings, scared of saying the truth, say, uh, scared to, to be exposed and, and, and open and revealed, scared to be hurt again. Based on that, you will reject job offers and you're going to reject relationships and you're going to reject amazing opportunities to, for you to improve and fix and correct your life. And you're going to doubt yourself in, in so many ways and, 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 and moments in your life. For what? For choosing the wrong way. Why? Because you live your life in the past. You don't live your life in the current time. You don't live your life in reality. In reality... That person, you don't know him. That person might be your best friend and you already defined him as your enemy. He can be your best friend. He can be your partner for life. But you now recognize him as your enemy. Why? Because something in his look, something in his eyes, something in his outfit, something in his voice 
reminded your fears of the ancient trauma that took place five, seven, seventy years ago, and maybe even in a different lifetimes. The truth is that something really happened to you, but your test now is not to follow those fears and not to reject those fears. It's to connect yourself to reality. To connect yourself to reality means to make an investigation now in the present time. What really goes on in my life? I am recognizing a danger and that's why I'm not choosing that thing or that I'm just terrified and paralyzed and frozen for no reason, no real reason.